cross fourth multiplied by 5.13. So the answer is equal to 117.9 meters. So we are done with the range. So this is how you find the horizontal distance, which is the range. Okay, so now let's go to the third question. What was the third question? Was the impact velocity. So we need to find the impact velocity. So how do you find the impact velocity? So as this ball, for example, as this project was moving here, after hitting the ground here, there will be an impact here that will float here. So there will be an impact that will move in this direction, and there will be another impact that will move down here. So this is what the vector, for me this is the Vy, and this one is the Vx, the Vx. So meaning, here, in between here, we have what? The resultant of these two speeds. So this is the bar that we want to find, which is the V. So let me say the V. So, so now in this question, we need to find this V. So for us to find this V, what should we do? We need to find the value of Vx and the value of Vy. Then we find the magnitude, which is the V, and we also find the direction. So what do we do? So the first thing, we need to find the X, the Vx value. So to find the Vx value, we use this normal equation, say, Vx is equal to u plus what? At. So, so here you can see that when you kick something, or when you kick a projector, it can be a ball or anything, it will move, it's more like it will move in the vertical. So as it is moving in the vertical, know that in the horizontal there is no acceleration. The acceleration is only in the what? In the vertical, because it moves like it's going in the vertical. So meaning here in the horizontal there is no what? Acceleration. So meaning this acceleration here is zero. So we eliminate this, so we made it what? Vx is equal to u. Right? So this one it will be zero. So now we know that this speed is given at an angle, so it will be Vx is equal to u cos what? Cos theta. So this is how you find the, the, the Vx bar. So Vx is equal to what is u? This is the initial speed, which is set cos 40. That will be the Vx bar. So Vx is equal to set cos 40, which is equal to 22.98 meters per second. So, so we are done with the Vx bar. So how do we find the Vy value? How do we find the Vy value? The same thing we said, Vy means velocity in the y in the vertical is equal to initial velocity plus y t, at. So to be Vy is equal to, this one is given at an angle to V. U, because now I talk about the vertical to be U sin y t, theta. So, and this acceleration here we are talking about the acceleration due to gravity. So when you kick a ball here, it will move up in the vertical. So because it is moving in the vertical, meaning in the y direction you have what? Acceleration. And that acceleration is due to what? Gravity. And when you kick this ball here, if it is a ball, when you kick it, it will be going against what? Against gravity. Meaning the acceleration will be negative. So it will be minus gt. So vy is equal to what is the u? Which is third sign fourth. Minus what is the value of gravity? 9.8 multiplied by what is this t? What is this t? So this t that we are putting here, putting the flight time. The t we are putting the flight time. On this t we are putting the flight time, which is 5.13. So what is the answer here? This is the x and what? The x and what is 19.28 minus 9.8 multiplied by 5.13, which is 50.3. So 19.28 minus 50.3, which is what? Negative the one. So Vy is negative the one. So now we have found Vy and Vx. So now we need to find the magnitude which is this V here. This is the magnitude of the result of V. We need to find that V here. 
How do you find the margin change? So the margin to say the margin of V is equal to what? The square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared. So in this case, it will be equal to what? What is Vx? Vx is 22.2. 22.98 then we square plus what what about by negative 31 square so what is the answer here so this will be so this will be equal to what is 22.9 squared 0.98 squared which is equals to 5.288 plus what is which is 961. So what is the sum here? Plus 528. So the sum will be equal to. So the sum here. So the sum here is equal to 1.89. So what is the answer? So this is the V, the impact velocity you want to find. So this is the impact velocity you want to find. And you know when you're finding the magnitude, you should also find the direction. So meaning we need to find the direction. How do you find the direction here? So this is the magnitude here. You have found the magnitude, which is this V. So now we need to find the, what, the direction. So how do we find the direction? How do we find the direction? So let me find the direction from here. So we know find the direction equals to what? Tan direction equals to what? Tan inverse y over what? So say the direction is tan inverse y over x. So in this case, tan inverse what is y? Negative 31. What is x? 22.98 What is the answer? Say tan inverse Tan inverse negative 31 negative 31 divided by 22.98 So the angle equals to negative 53 so now, because the angle is negative, so meaning we need to look for quadrants where, where tan is negative. So we need to look for quadrants where tan is negative. Then those of our values, those of our values. Then. Okay? So we know that using this, uh, okay, all students take chemistry. So we know that tan here is positive, tan here is positive, but tan here is negative but the term is negative so meaning our solutions will be this quadrant and this one quadrant so the first answer of this quadrant is 180 minus 53.4 the second one will be this quadrant is 360 minus 53.4 So this is how you solve projector questions. So let's meet next time.